Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, at some point, you're probably going to see an image like this on your computer if you've been editing in Premiere. And if you've ever seen this before, I call it the multilingual, uh, the multilingual, what is it? I call it the multilingual page that nobody really understands. And maybe even this seems like a foreign name to you. Media offline. What does media offline mean? This is when you uh, when, when your footage gets disconnected from your project. To talk a little bit how projects first work, first of all, one thing that you've got to understand, one thing you've got to understand is that a project file is just basically this. Here's this project that I've opened up. I'm going to hit Command I and, and look at the, um, the information on this. I'm on a Mac right now. <clears throat> so Command I and look at this. This is 152 kilob uh, kilobits on disk. That, that is a very, very small file, which basically means this project file does not contain all the video footage and audio media, media that's used to put my project together, that's used to edit my project together. This just tells media how to act. It does not uh, embed the media into it. This project file stays very, very small, and it just tells the media how to act that's in a different location. So, so once in a while, if, if your media is offline, that means this project cannot find the media. It cannot find the video media or the audio media or anything, any sort of media that I have in this timeline. It doesn't know where it's at. So it brings up this message, message and tells me that everything has been disconnected here. And that's what media offline means. Is it means it cannot find it. It doesn't know where it's at. So there's a few ways of reconnecting connecting it. First of all, if you're in this if you're in this screen right now, you probably you should not have gone past uh, that first offline. You should not have gone past that first message that's asking to locate your media. And if you have done that, do not save your project like this because if you if you if you close uh, Premiere and save your project, it will save it as disconnected. So be careful if you. I would say close it. Close Premiere completely. Do not save your project. Watch this. See, I do Command Q to quit, or Control Q to quit on a PC. Ask you, you want to save your project? Say no. You don't want to save it, or it will remain disconnected. And then what you have to do is you have to go through, dig through all your folders, and reconnect all your folders individually. So let's show you how to do that first of all. So uh, I've got media here and a little bit here that is disconnected. And you got this little question mark that goes through these showing that it doesn't know where this media is. Still has all the same attributes for the media. It just doesn't know where it's at. So right now uh, I have reconnected my hard drive, and I kind of I kind of intentionally did this where I pulled I unplugged my hard drive and then reopened the project and everything was gone, so I didn't know where to find it. So here's my hard drive now, and I'm going to reconnect my media. So I'm going to select, and this is where it can be a pain if you have tons of different folders, you have to go into each folder and reconnect them. So once again, I'm going to show you a couple uh, message boards. If you ever have this problem, don't skip past it, and then sure as heck, do not save your project once you've skipped past it. So I'm going to select all this media here. I'm going to uh, select the first one, hold down shift click, and, and click on the bottom one, select it all. And I can right click and say, and I can say link media right here. So we're going to link this back to the original media. And it's going to show you the original space. It's going to show you the original location that it found this media. And this found it under my volumes. I have a hard drive connect. That, that this is, the volumes are hard drives that you've got connected on a Mac. It says that I was on this hard drive called things and then in a folder called sheeprock and in a folder called original. So I'm just going to select one of these files. You'll notice down here it has this check mark relink others automatically. That's important to have that turned on. And as well as file name and file extension. This is, so you'll come in here and change these for different reasons if you're reconnecting proxies sometimes. But in this instance, you leave file name, file extension check marked, and relink other, others automatically is the most important one here to relink. So I'm going to look for just one of these files. You can tell it which one to look for. I'm going to say look for DGI 0001. I'm going to hit locate. And actually, this now that my hard drive is connected, it went and found it automatically. It's kind of smart. Otherwise, you'd have to go to you go to your folder and you go to exactly where you, uh, it to, it tells you that it was originally located. Here's the path that it's looking for. So things sheeprock and it's arranged by name. There's sheeprock right there, and then under original, I'm going to go to original and um, and by the way, right now it's everything. All my files are not grayed out right now. It's saying which one is this DGI 0001. Now there's something down in your options down here. If you go under, in, under your options down here, you can tell it to display exact name matches only. That's the, usually I leave this on by default, and it grays everything else out, and then it only highlights one that uh, that matches the name. It, only, it says only one file in here matches the name. So I'm going to select that, hit open, and look what it does. It just reconnected all my media, and that media has been restored. So that media has been restored. I still have a few files here that have not been restored. And if I want to find those, if I have a huge folder down here, I can right click on one of these and say reveal in project. It'll jump to my project and show where that's located. And these are these other items here in this, uh, this one other folder I have. And that's the only other folder. So I'm going to select all these. I'm going to right click and do the same and say 
Link Media. It's going to ask. It's going to show their original location. I'm going to hit locate. It jumps to that location because it can find it now, and that's fine. So I'm going to select uh, this JPEG it's looking for right there. I've got under options display all, only uh, exact name matches. I'm going to select the one that it will let me select. Hit open, and my project has been restored. So now if I go to my timeline, everything's back. Oh, I do have one After Effects uh, thing here that's still missing. I can right-click on that, say Reveal in Project. Here's that After Effects file right there. I can right-click, Link Media. It's going to find that original location for me. There it is right there, Sheeprock Title A -A AEP right there. It reconnects. Now my whole project's back to normal here. But that took a few steps because I had to dig through some folders. So I'm going to close this. So I'm going to close this project and I'm going to have a project disconnected from the media again and I'm going to show you a different method here. I'm going to start Premiere from the start. I'm going to, turn, I'm going to unplug my, disconnect my hard drive here so it can't, doesn't know where it's at and I'm going to start Premiere. Here's my project name, recent project, open it up. And if your footage is disconnected, the first thing it's going to do is bring this up. This is why I'm saying don't skip past this. If you skip past this, some people just hit offline all and they skip past this or cancel and it will go past it. Don't do that. Uh, you're going to want to find the, this, these files. So right now I'm going to realize that this that it's saying I'm looking for this place right here and then I realize, oh, my hard drive is disconnected. So I'm going to plug my hard drive back in. I just plugged it in. Wait for it to reconnect. There it is right there. It's reconnected. So now my file is reconnected. Now I can go back to my project file. I could even just shut this down completely, Premiere down completely, and restart the project and it will find it. But let's show you how to manually find it from here. I'm going to hit, I'm going to select one of these files here and I'm going to tell it to locate. Now I'm going to go to my hard drive, go to the original folder location. It's looking under Sheeprock, original there. It's giving me the path and here's that original file. I'm going to select that, hit open. And it will find everything else in the list here because it's fine. It's looking in that relative folder location and it's going to find all that original media and reconnect it. So I only had to do that with selecting one file. I didn't have to go through each individual folder. So like I said, I would I would avoid skipping that first messenger by hitting cancel or offline all and find that file. Find out what's wrong. Find out where your hard drive is or what's going on and reconnect everything. Now, there are several reasons that you might have files that get disconnected. I'm going to just quickly go through some of those those issues when, when that happens. And I've written some down that I can think of here. Uh, when you move from one computer to another, let's say you move from a PC to a Mac or sometimes from a PC to a PC or a Mac to another Mac, usually Macs work pretty well because uh, they don't give uh, letter letters for the drive names like they do on a PC. It just has it in a, in a standard volumes folder, basically. If you move from your PC and you go to a Mac and now it's looking for that file location when you open up your project file, it might not be able to find the hard drive. Another thing is your hard drive might get disconnected while you're working on it and while you're editing, it gets unplugged and all of a sudden all those offline names come up, then uh, your hard drive might have gotten uh, disconnected. I would recommend closing Premiere, don't save when you close it and then open Premiere again. Once again, if you save all the disconnected, they'll stay disconnected when you open it up again. So if, if your hard drive is disconnected, close Premiere, don't save it, open it up, and it should restore the project as long as your hard drive has been has, has come back. Sometimes people change folder locations. If you change the folder location, if you move your folder from one place to the next, or you even rename your folder, uh, sometimes it'll open up and it'll say, this is where the original path was, now it doesn't know where to find it. Premiere is sometimes pretty smart. It'll sometimes search an entire hard drive and, and find the media, but if it's not named the same name and if you have files that are the same name, it might reconnect it to different files that it doesn't belong to, that, that wasn't intended to be reconnected to. Like if you're working on a mirrorless or DSLR camera and it names your files, every time you turn your camera on and off and you start recording new footage on a new card, it might, it might have the same naming structure like C0001, then C0002 for the next clip. And then when you take that card out and put a new card in, it could, it'll, it, if it's a Sony camera, it starts naming the files the, the same, uh, the, sa the same way, and you got to be careful about those as well. This will also happen if you change the name of the original files when you've already started editing. If you're going to change the name of the original files, do it before you import it into Premiere, and then don't ever change the names again, or it will disconnect the original files, and that can cause a huge mess. And then the last one here, uh, and there are probably some others that I'm missing, but you have deleted some or all of your files, like sometimes people get through, or they'll be downloading music files into their, uh, into their downloads folder, and then sometimes they purge their downloads folder and don't realize they just got rid of all the music they were using in Premiere. Uh, so you got to be careful about, um, if you do d download things, I recommend move them into your production folder on your hard drive uh, so you're not deleting them when you're deleting your download files.
or you just might unintentionally be moving things around. So you just got to be very, very aware of, of uh, content and media management uh, so you don't, don't end up making all of your media offline. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. But that is basically how to reconnect footage if your footage gets uh, moved or disconnected or, or moved to another hard drive. Uh, just, just be very, very conscious of where your media is. And I would recommend also backing up your media in a separate location as well. So if you do delete your media off of your hard drive, you can bring your heart, you you can go to your heart, the, another hard drive that has that media that you backed up and, and transfer it back onto your hard drive. So. And I would recommend making at least three copies of your media, anytime, of anything that you want to keep and not lose and have it in three, three different locations. All right. Well, if you have any questions, please post them. And thanks for watching.